California Polytechnic State University, located in beautiful San Luis Obispo, has been known for being a difficult university to change majors at. Nolan and Ananya are part of the makers of this documentary, but related to it personally as they are currently in the process of changing their majors. We decided to talk to them and some other students to get their opinion on the process. Can you guys please introduce yourselves and say what your current major is and what major you would like to switch into? Mm, okay, so my name is Ananya and my current major is Nutrition and I want to switch to Public Health. I'm Nolan and I'm in Landscape Architecture right now and I want to switch into Aerospace Engineering. Hi, my name is Evan Schwegerly. I'm currently in Ag Business and I'm switching to Business Administration. Hi, I'm Annie. I'm a fourth year landscape architecture major, and my first year here I was an art and design major. My name is Jack Hauser, I'm a first year, and I was a materials engineering major first quarter, and I switched to biomedical engineering this quarter. So what steps have you done so far to make that switch happen? Um, so I first filled out an inquiry form, which basically just tells the department that you want to switch in. Once I got accepted, they said <clears throat> they sent me an email saying that I was eligible to make a transfer and I had to go in and set up an ICMA contract. Architecture is a five-year program, so how were you able to plan so that you could graduate on time? Yeah, so I decided to double down and do two studios for a couple quarters. Um, those are usually something they just take one at a time because there are a lot of hours. But we then went to the Mustang Success Center, a place for undergrad advising to talk to the change of major coordinator, Lindsay Lacey. Um, one thing that Cal Poly is actually very happy with is the what they call upside down curriculum where students are starting uh, major related courses at the very beginning of their time. So they are starting those major classes in the beginning getting a feel for it, and mm -hmm. then getting a lot of experience, which ultimately leads to students that are graduating and extremely employable because they have four to five years of applicable knowledge and experience. Um, so Cal Poly is full, right? I mean, we have all been through registration at this point and potentially waitlisted or crashed courses. It, course demand is a constant struggle that we're dealing with. Um, that's due to a lot of factors. Uh, I would say starting with the advising website, advising.calpoly.edu. Um, if you go to that website, there's a like a box to hit change of major so you can view the change of major page. Um, we try to keep that as updated as possible with workshops for one. The workshops um, happen every quarter, multiple times a quarter. They're pretty broad, so they're university-wide, and they go over general change of major policy and kind of exploration resources. After our interview with Lindsay, we learned that the online portlet where inquiries are made and the advising website have only been around for two to three years. Before this, students were on their own to start the change of major process. So how does um, your experience with the steps you've taken so far affected your opinion on changing your major at Cal Poly? They've been uh, very helpful for me. I've been able to get all my questions answered and you know figure out the best way to do this uh, process. Um, I wish that it wasn't quarter by quarter. I've heard a lot of stories where um, I think if I had decided later to switch, I would have had to wait a whole nother year to get into those studios. Um, so I think um, if they offer more classes throughout the year, that would be really helpful. Um, and I also wish that there were more advisors for switching, because I did feel like um, I went to a couple like career center type of resources, but I definitely felt like I found landscape on my own. For me, it was like significantly less hard than it is for a lot of my friends switching between colleges. Uh, I think for those people, there should be more clear-cut guidelines on what they need to do to actually switch majors because it seems like a lot of them are confused and always going into Mustang Success in various places to try and get ideas about how to switch and it seems like if there was just more of a clear-cut, this is how you switch majors, that would be a big help. And how has this process um, affected your mental health? Um, well, it's probably taken a toll on my mental health personally. 
um, just because it's really stressful and I'm thinking about the money that my parents are paying for me to go to college and for me to be in a major that I don't want to be in right now. I'd say yeah, it definitely has. Because I've just had to really worry about my grades and well, trying to make sure that I do reach that knowing that if I get on the contract and don't keep those grades then I will fail the contract and not be able to make my desired transfer. But it has been kind of a bummer with trying to figure out like having a social life and then also just like wanting to graduate on time. Overall, Cal Poly is moving in the right direction for helping students change major. However, to further reduce student stress in this process, Cal Poly needs to keep improving the clarity of online resources, admit fewer students into impacted majors, and have more undergrad advisors. Of course, these changes won't happen all at once. Like waves on a beach, change happens over time.